Hi guys, just being creative here. I'm up late at night crafting. So I have a cute little simple easy and DIY for you that I'm gonna do. So I went to an arts micro arts and crafts store and found these nice little charms, right? And I'm gonna use them and put them and make a bracelet using this simple leather cord. See, just simple. I just cut a little strip off and that's it. I already started the end for you. So you guys see, so right here, I put the end. Right here, the end cord, right? Glue right, all you do is glue that right on and slide it on. And then you have the crimp, crimp, um, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, crimp bead right here. Not, not crimp bead, jump ring here to attach. And then these are what I just showed you, the tassels. Not tassels, charms. See, I need to go to sleep, but anyway. So these are charms, so I did one for you. All he did was punch a hole using this leather hole puncher. There are other punchers, but in the, I guess I have this one because it's a leather hole puncher. Punch it, and all I did, open the jump ring and slide it right through. So I'm gonna show you guys and demonstrate that right now for you. But my idea was intended first, this would be just a bracelet, charm bracelet, wrap it right around, right around the wrist, right? If I could get it to wrap right around the wrist, right? And it will hang nice. But what I came up with, I'm gonna put it on my ankle. So it's gonna be universal. It will be a ankle brace, ankle charm bracelet slash a brace, a charm bracelet. So you can wear it either way. You can use it either as a bracelet or ankle. So it's a quick, easy DIY for you guys to do. I mean, I don't wanna say quick because you do have some time, but it's really simple. And what's gonna make it easy for you to use it as a bracelet slash ankle, anklet, is I'm gonna have an extender. So that way it's easy to adjust, and all you just clamp it right on, right on the extender, measuring it to your wrist and your, your ankle. Anyway, so let's get into it. But before I begin, remember to hit that button, to hit that button, subscribe, hit the bell for notification, leave comments, let me know. We have all these simple tools here that I'll be using bent nose pliers this is probably the straight nose pliers same one i told you about the hole puncher and if i need the crimp bead which i most likely don't so i don't know why i have it here but i'll put that to the side so that's it simple tools and that's it so we're going to begin and normally i could just measure but i'm just going to average out myself you don't have to do that i've been doing this so long that i just average myself and just do it you can do finger length wise or you can just keep going. So I'm just going to do finger length wise. That way there's enough charms on it. So I can do one or two, but I have enough to do it. So we'll do one. We'll slap and go right here. All right. So I hold that finger here. And then I'm just going to punch the hole right here. Making sure it's even. And that's it. So what we're going to do, we're just basically punching the holes. All right. All right. Let's do that again. Do that again. Punch. Uh oh. We messed that up. We came a little too far down. So we're just gonna go over. Go over. I'll put a little bit of glue for that, but it's okay. Oh my god, guys, I'm demonstrating. I'm messing it up. Ooh ooh. Blooper. Now you gotta measure really good. So I just gonna put some glue to fix that, but that's fine. You should get the gist of it. But I'll do, I'll put a little bit of glue. So we have all these holes. All right, so now, so I have taken off all of those charms. So let's get right back into it. So I'm gonna take it, and we're gonna open the jump room, jump room, which is really simple. You just put them apart from each other, nice and small, easy, like that. And then you're just taking the hole that you have punched, put it right through that hole. Squeeze it right through. If you can't hold up the pliers, use your hands, which is fine. I use my fingers a lot for a lot of the project, but I'm demonstrating to show you can use it with the pliers. And then you just, the way that you open it, you just reverse it, go back the other way. Oops, hold it, yeah. And then, just like that. Pull it back and close it. And there you have it. Right on. See? There you go. So I'm gonna finish the rest like that. Take the next one. And so forth.
all righty guys so we are done look at that simple anklet or charm bracelet and some of them a little like see this is a little too close but that's fine what i'm going to do is put a little bit of glue just to reinforce the holes that i have here or i may just do it over but i still want to demonstrate it for you guys to see nothing's perfect but it's an idea to show you what you can do and you just put it right around there look at that Now, I'm going to show you how you close it up. All right. Remember, I say you have the extender. So, what I'm going to do now, using the end of this, and I'm going to push it right in this hole. So, being that it seemed like it's a little too small for it, which it kind of is. So, what I did was I, like, really, like, closed, um, like, close it on, make it where it could fit inside of it. Like I roll it, like, see, and roll it, and then I'll put like a little glue, I'm going to show you, see, and I push it right inside there, see, alright, now, what I'm going to do for the, the glue is, use some E6000, just a little bit, using a toothpick, a little bit of glue. Oh my goodness. Let's put some glue inside here. And on the tip of this. Just putting a little bit of glue just to, so it reinforces so the stain it doesn't come out. Put that there. And you just put it right inside there. And that's it. Just it on. Oops. Squeeze it right in there. I mean, you can always clean it up with um, some alcohol when you finish. And you gotta give it some time to dry. You give it some time to dry. And that's it. So we're gonna let this bad boy dry. I'm also gonna show you now for the extender for this based on your average of your wrist or your ankle you could put it so you could always either put it on you could put it on the end of here or you could put it on the end of one of the charms so for now i'm going to start off with here just to average and see how will it be all right so we're going to open this up we're going to open up right here We're gonna open up this side. This is the dry. This is the side that was already pre-done. Let's find that opening. this dries then we'll see and we can wear it so i don't want to mess it up now as my mind is telling you guys i need a little more glue because just a little bit 
I'm gonna take my toothpick, right? See these little parts? Just a little bit in it, just to hold it back together. See? Just pulling it back together. Just to hold it together, so come down, see? And that's it. Same thing right here, do the same thing. Put a little glue. And being that it's black and it's suede, it kind of helps it. I'm just mending it back. And that's it. Let that bad boy dry, give it a few moments, and then I will come back and show you how that bracelet looks, guys. Remember to hit the bell, subscribe, and let me know what you think if you like this DIY. And if you have created our ankle break bracelet from something, what did you create it from? Now, so the cord that I used right here was the same little cord, and it's the same cord right here for this. So you could check out this, 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 um, to how to make one of these. Actually, I made it using, um, you see the video, I'll post the video, okay? But um, this same little cord, and that was it. Simple little cord, and that was it. Take this, and you can make your anchor bracelet. You could actually do multiple things with here. You could do the bracelet, the anchor bracelet, and you can make a chain. And I didn't do this one yet, but if you want, you can take it, hang it, and make earrings using some glass beads or whatever you want to use. But you don't have to only use these charms that I found at Michael's Arts and Craft. You can actually also use, if you take that one of my, take if you take a look at one of my, um, take a look at the, I'll post that for you to see. Take a look at the vlogging video I did on some, a nice haul of finest and thirst finds. And these are the beads that I found. So you can use, also use these beads. All you have to do is attach them to some, Earring, some earring findings right here, and that's it. But if, if requested, and if you guys would like, I will do a video on that for you, and that's it. But for now, you don't only have to limit yourself to making just the charms. You can also use glass beads. Okay, so I'll be back and show you how it looks on my wrist and my ankle, and how you can use the, the extender. Okay, so this is a deal DIY deal bracelet for you guys to go and explore and try. All right, be back. Okay, guys, so I'm about to show you my feet or well, my ankle on the feet how it looks. So right here, one. Don't mind the ashy ankles, well ashy toes. <laughs> but anyway, I'm being a little delicate because it still has to dry. I just want to show you guys before I tune out for the night. Anyway, so let's take a look and see on the wrist. And I'll show you what I was saying about how it's a little too big and I have to adjust it a little bit. So if you guys had that problem, you would just measure a little bit before and then you, have, you wouldn't have the problem. It has to cut it down a little bit or use the extender because it may be a little bit too big for the wrist. But I have an idea. What we could do is you could wrap it around like a double price bracelet depending on your wrist size. All right, guys, so you can see, see the length of it. It was, it's a little long. All right, it's a little long to close, see that? So I have an option, or you guys have an option, is depending on your wrist size, right? Okay, guys, so this is what I was saying, how you could wrap it, you see that? What I did is I took the closure, the claps, and I hooked it onto, you could either hook it on to the jump ring itself, the jump ring, or the charm itself, so just as, quick purposes I hooked it on a charm but I was showing you how you could hook it on there and you still have it hanging but what you could do is you could take an extra clasp put it on and then you were able to snap this one on and then there you have it you can still wear it as a charm bracelet so you have two options you see that which is still not bad so You could put a little tighter, that way it could stay, but that's the options. It's not staying how I want it to stay, but I'm just trying to show you guys how it looks as a charm bracelet. So isn't that cool? Simple leather cord wire and some cute little charms I found that Michael to make a charm bracelet. And that's it. So you guys go ahead, go and make your own charm bracelet quick. Not quick, but a simple and easy, semi-quick DIY for you to go try on your own at home. So, the, the leather strip were very easy. I found them on Amazon. Or you could find, go to Michael Arts and Craft. I better find them. Michael Arts and Craft doesn't give you so much. They just give you a little bit. 
and um but i found these in a clearance bin i, I believe these were either 59 cents a couple of cents or a dollar and change it wasn't too bad okay and the leather cord if i'm not mistaken i have to double check i think it was nine dollars but there you have it and then you when these are actually sterling silver clasps so these are sterling silver that i put on here and that's it and you have your own quick ankle and charm bracelet so you have two in one isn't that quick and easy all right let me know what you think guys and i will talk to you guys next time and leave me comments let me know what you think and if you have anything you would like me to try and create for you because actually this is my first time making this one but actually and then i have another video what i've done before of an anklet i'll post that you could check that out if you like and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye until next time just being creative for jan remember to like subscribe and hit the bell for notification So guys, oh my gosh, while well, sitting here playing around, the ankle fast bracelet can also be worn as a neck choker due to having the length of the extender. Ah, that was so fabulous, guys. I just saw it, so let me try it. And it actually extended out to my neck. Let me see if I can turn around. Okay. Is it That is so awesome, isn't that cool? How cool is that? Oh my gosh. There you have it. So we created three multiple things, guys. An ankle, a bracelet, and a neck choker. How fabulous is that? Go make your own DIY. Bye -bye. I'm going for good now. Thank you for watching, guys. Remember to subscribe, like, and share, and hit the bell for notification. Till next time with Jen, just being creative. Bye-bye.